Well, now on your feet at five, Cleveland Mayor Justin Bibb and the interim police chief met with other Cleveland leaders to discuss what they are doing to put an end to violence caused by guns. The statistics, Betsy, are staggering. And Neil Fisher is live now at City Hall. Neil, good afternoon to you. The city has some plans here to try to address this violence, particularly that we've seen rise in the last couple of years. What are they trying to do to curb it? Hey, good afternoon, Jay and Betsy. That's right. We're less than halfway through the year, and the city has already seen 495 shootings and 52 deaths associated with guns. Now, in an effort to reduce this, more than 1,000 guns have been taken off of streets this year. The interim police chief says he expects that number to double by the end of the year. The department also announced it will have officers patrol the streets to interact directly with communities in hopes of curbing the violence. We are requiring every officer working in the first and second shift to do at least one hour of walking uh, the beat to make sure we have active presence in our communities across the city. Interim Police Chief Wayne Drummond was emotional today as he spoke about reducing the violence caused by guns. He says the police department is committed to reducing gun violence. The mayor says meeting like this will continue to go forward to make the public aware of what they're doing to address gun violence. Hopefully we'd start to see that very soon. Jay Betsy. Well, Neil, I know that there's a couple different uh, forms of bills in front of the governor right now. Is anyone commenting on the current state legislation? Mayor Bibb addressed Senate Bill 215 and House Bill 99 earlier today. House Bill 99, of course, the one that would allow teachers and school staff to have guns with them with less training inside the schools. But Mayor Bibb says if that is passed, he will ban uh, Cleveland Metro schools from having guns on their property. So a uh, very big deal going forward to kind of go against this uh, gun violence. Neil, did, did the mayor address Congress making any changes to gun laws? He did. He ended his remarks today by calling on citizens to reach out to their Congress members to push them to take action on gun violence, saying that um, since the majority of Americans support uh, background checks, raising the age limits to purchase guns and red flag laws, that Congress should take ac action to pass gun legislation now. Hmm. All right. We'll continue to follow everything. Thanks so much, Neil.